As I was checking through Amazon's best-selling Wi-Fi routers, it hit me. Most people don't actually get the best performance out of their routers, not because of the hardware, but because of simple setup mistakes that hurt Wi-Fi speed and coverage. So today I'll go over five common Wi-Fi setup mistakes you should avoid and what you can do instead. The first and biggest mistake is putting your router in the wrong spot. Hiding it in a closet, putting it on the floor, or tucking it behind furniture. All of that weakens the signal. Your router should be in a central, elevated, and open location, not behind the TV or stuffed in the corner. Second mistake is relying only on the router your internet service provider gave you. ISP routers are usually very basic and underpowered. They might work fine for a small apartment, but if you have a large home, multiple users, or faster internet speeds, you will need a stronger router or a mesh system to really get the performance you are paying for. Check the video description for links to some good routers that I recommend. Third mistake is ignoring the faster Wi-Fi bands. Many people connect everything to the 2.4 GHz band because it usually shows better range, but it is also slower and more crowded. For streaming, gaming, and modern devices, you should be on the 5 GHz or even 6 GHz band if your router and devices support it. Use 2.4 GHz only for older gadgets or smart home devices that don't necessarily need speed. Fourth mistake is skipping a wired connection where it matters. If you're using mesh routers, whenever possible connect the nodes with an ethernet cable. This way they don't have to share bandwidth over Wi-Fi and your speeds stay much higher. Even just wiring your gaming console or desktop computer directly to the router can make a huge difference in performance and stability. And if you want to know more details on that, then feel free to check out that video where I talk about 5 things I do to improve my mesh network. And the fifth mistake is forgetting updates and security. A lot of people set up the router once and never touch it again. But router firmware updates often fix bugs, improve performance, and patch security risks. Also, don't leave your Wi-Fi wide open. Use WPA3 if available, or at least WPA2 with a strong password. So those are 5 simple Wi-Fi setup mistakes you should avoid. Fixing just one or two of these can make a big difference in your Wi-Fi performance at home. And remember, more expensive hardware doesn't always mean better results if it is set up incorrectly. I'm also glad to be back making videos after an unforeseen break. A big thank you to everyone who stuck around, left comments, and even asked how I was doing. I really appreciate it. From here on, I'll be posting more quick, clear, and easy to follow content every week. Check out the video description for useful links, and if you found this helpful, consider giving the video a like and subscribing. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.